Hello, YouTube. This is a little controversial video. The uh, reason I got the old church behind me is that's what they do when they renovate stuff around town. There used to be an old steeple bell up there because the wood rotted away. They took that down, took the bell down. The bell is at a museum right now. Uh, basically, <laughs> yep, there's that wood. Find that shirt down below. And that's what they did uh, a few years ago. And people on the channel uh, recognized it and uh, acknowledged it. But that's one of the, one of the renovations that basically saved that church for right now. If anybody uh, noticed, uh, yeah, our aisle palm trees, it just uses uh, cut the branches out and you create an Iowa palm tree. Okay, this building right here is old church. This is about to open in, have me watch this video, in a few weeks. Uh, they got some landscaping you gotta do. This is uh, another project here in town that basically saved a building from a potential wrecking ball. This is where investments really, really helps out and uh, that. As you see, the looks like that's going to be a water fountain patio area. I don't know how they're going to work that out, but this is really nice. It's due to open. It's the brewery. It's the new brewery restaurant. I heard they're going to have wood fire pizza here. That'd be worth a try. But yeah, uh, check this out when it first opens up. Now we'll come up to a building. Uh, it's been uh, an eyesore for a long time because either a the property owner does not have the money to renovate it and it's coming down. As you see, they got bricks laying down here. It is coming down. The old pool hall here. Pool hall and apartments. Pool hall used to be right there. Apartments up there. This has been abandoned longer than we had our YouTube channel. So it's it's coming down piece by piece right now for safety reasons. And that's usually the sign when the building owner or management, or whatever, does not have the money to reinvest. And of course it's a pretty old building too. But it is coming down. Uh, the old pool hall and all that stuff. This is just a sign where some building owners just don't make the investments to save it. There's was so much potential uh, if they would have renovated it, but they can't renovate it. It is coming down. They say, Chuck, with all your YouTube money you make on the channel, how come you don't renovate? You know, some of these renovations takes millions and millions of dollars to renovate. Uh, as you see in a couple of places, some takes about anywhere from a quarter of a million to uh, about 10 to 12 million dollars, maybe 15 to 20 million dollars. And that, so it takes a lot of money to invest uh, and a lot of planning, getting permits and all that stuff. It's really not easy to do. It's not an easy process, people says it is. And that, so uh, yeah. Right now we're gonna take a look, we're gonna turn the camera around, we're gonna take a look at another building that has a lot of history to it, but it's already started coming down a while ago because they had like an awning. It looks like an old movie theater uh, type uh, awning that at one time, if you remember the old time movie theaters that had that awning. They, that came down uh, a few years ago. Uh, you've probably seen the original building in its form uh, early on this channel. But right now, it's getting ready. It's all coming down. The building that is scheduled to be demolished, the old England music. Uh, music? Used to be an old movie theater at one time. And that's all coming down. All this whole block is coming down. Uh, all the way up here used to be a candy salon, used to be a little uh, little secondhand store at one time. Yep, all this building here is coming down too, unfortunately. Uh, we knew this was coming because uh, a lot of people who rented here said uh, they're not getting the renovations that they need. And it's unfortunately uh, that it ha is happening. I'm hoping if they do knock it out, hopefully new development comes in, in its place. Uh, you don't want to lose. You got that historic uh, hangover right there. They don't make hangovers like that no more. I, I mean those 
decorative hangovers that's over the building. Yeah, they don't make those no more. Okay, what I mean about those hangovers, those red, the kind of like a burnt red uh, it, thing as this hangs out from the building. Yeah, you don't see those no more. <clears throat> but, yep, we'll get a couple more angles of this whole building, give you the whole scope of this, how big this is coming down. This, let's, Clinton's gonna change a lot in the next few years. I see someone stopped prior to my filming here, stopped there, and took a look at that particular building where it says body piercing right there. Uh, that's where you used to, that's where the parents used to take their kids, get their musical instruments, musical lessons, and all that stuff. That used to be a nice little bar hangout. It had its controversies over the years. And that building over there used to be an auto parts store. It was RSVP. That's where Angie used to do the taxes. Uh, there. But when it all comes out from there, from this building onto here, all that's going to get torn down. That might be big enough for a new development. That's going to be interesting to see what kind of new development it's going to be. New owners took over this building. And I'm hoping to be smart enough to have the money to reinvest that whole block. Because if we don't reinvest that whole block in a few years, maybe in 10 to 10 years from now, maybe 15, 20 years from now, within the next 10 to 20 years, that will face, that will face the same fate as this, unfortunately. So I'm hoping they are watching this video, hoping they make the investment to save that block. Because if not, if they don't save that part of the block, it will become part of this block flattened. All right, we'll show you some other investments around town. We'll show you some businesses that is reopening that is good news for us. Okay, I just had to get this shot here. Uh, workers are back to work up there. Starting to knock that thing down brick by brick right now. Until they get enough that they can get a backhaul and implode the rest of it. Not me implode, but uh, collapse within uh, as they try to tear it down. That's why the safety gate's there. So unfortunately, that is coming down. That is the old pool hall I showed you earlier in this video. All right, uh, we're, we're in the Village of the Beast downtown. Uh, we're back downtown again, guys, for another shoot over here. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, Here's another cool thing. Remember the grocery carts I always used to buy over at Smith Brothers before that building uh, succumbed to, uh, demol to a collapse and demolition was forced to close? That building was built in like the late or early 1900s. And like I said, um, the guy who ran the business didn't make, really make a whole lot of money. People want him to reopen really bad. They like his stuff. And he had everything in storage and uh, he decided he is going to reopen here in downtown. Where downtown? We'll show you. We'll turn the camera around. We'll show you exactly where. It's going to be that building on the corner. That's where the red door is right there. I'll get a closer shot of it in a little bit here. But in that corner of that building, that's where the Smith Brothers store is going to be. So I better get my, it, I'm hoping they sell my, I don't know, I always buy them from him, was the grocery cart. Remember the old grocery cart videos? Yep. I used to buy it from him when he used to be on uh, the other part of town. But uh, hopefully I'll be buying it from him uh, shortly soon. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of heat of this. This is what uh, the investment takes place. This is when you spend millions of dollars in, in about maybe three years project. And that's what you get. That's the results of that project right here. And that. And this business behind me is going to be reopening the video of Benny's place. And that's going to be opening up really quick. I think it's ready. It is, I think it's about ready to be open. But they spent money in renovating uh, over there and over here. So renovations. Uh, and of course, like I say, if you're not going to spend the time or the money, don't even do the project, uh, basically. So... That's my saying, but yeah, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this one. I took a lot of heat about that one. <laughs> and that, and besides that, here, uh, here's, here's another investment they're doing. And of course, the Hallmark is getting some renovations done, too. They're doing this half of the building first, and maybe do this half later. But they're doing renovations. 
Uh, that's what you do when you get renovations done. You get make the downtown a lot better than that. Make downtown downtown a lot better with the proper renovations if you have the money and the time. Well, not too much time. Cause then the city gets on you. So yeah, I know I'm gonna get dumped on Chuck. Chuck always gets dumped on. Your opinions do not matter, Chuck. We hear that all the time here on the channel. But remember, here's this. If you own a building anywhere in town and you're not maintaining it and it fails inspection, remember, at one time, City of Clinton never had a building code until some 25, 30 years ago. Then the last 20 years, if you've been sleeping under the rock, the last 20 years, the, they, not, they decided to refuse to grandfather people out because the renovations were not getting done. So out comes the demolition notices and uh, evictions and uh, either it's going to be immediate repair, either immediate repair or face demolition. Uh, it's not fair to the, to the tenants that rent in these buildings. That was your cash cow. You decided to spend your cash cow in Southern Florida, Southern California, or the Bahamas to live the high life, and you don't reinvest what got you there. It's talk about reinvesting. It's called reinvesting. If I ever own a business, and it's always best to reinvest because that keeps you in business. They say in business, one-on-one, you have to spend a little money to make money. But if you're not making money, you're going bankrupt. Like I said, if we don't make the videos for you guys to watch and enjoy, uh, even if it's um, hard truth or a fantasy video, whatever video we produce, uh, if we don't produce the videos, we don't make money either. That's it. That's all. Okay? Okay, like I said, um, there are some businesses in town that don't even post their hours. So by not knowing their hours, how can I do the shopping at some of the stores? Uh, there's like, there's a couple businesses on this. There's a business on this block behind me. It's a nice business. I want to go in there and see what they got. But I don't know what they got if I don't know what their hours are. And it's almost at times you can't reach them. Even if you go online or their Facebook page, either their Facebook page is taken down or something else like that is taken down. Uh, that's not how you want to run business. I bet you the business will fail within a year or two. Uh, post your hours if you have, if you run a business. So people know what your hours are. And just let them know and try to be open those hours. If you're not going to open, at least have somebody run in, put a note on the door to say why you're closed for the day. And that I walked in one business, uh, they had a note on their door saying they were not going to be open for at least a week because due to illness, uh, family illnesses. And that some issues with the family, so a lot of business is going to think family first, and that I will expect that, and that. So, uh, like I said, there's a lot of potential. Every town has a lot of potential. I have seen other issues in like Chicago. I have seen abandoned buildings for a long time, and they renovate them to nice, nice apartments. Uh, uh, I didn't show a lot of them on, cha on the YouTube channel uh, because uh, our YouTube... We only took you guys to Chicago maybe twice on the channel. And if we get this one vote by the members and go a certain way, we'll probably go live in Chicago. Who knows? And that. But yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting in the next few years in town. Some good, some bad. It's... Uh, give or take a uh, tug of war between the owners and the city and of course the tenants that rents these uh, that rents out these buildings so it's gonna be a, a three-way tug of war and that so that's the way it is it's always been that way uh, now with the new with the building codes been in force and really cracking down hard on them uh, it's gonna be either it's gonna be uh, get it repaired or demolition is coming and that and we live in the apartment complex and boy we showed you what they have done uh to our building there's a whole different building on the outside and they're trying to do the same thing on the inside unfortunately for us we're now not going to see the renovations uh inside our apartment unless we officially request it ourselves and that or we move out uh one or one or the other 
Uh, I'll just have to wait and see on those on those issues. But we will make our repair request whenever when we need it, and it will be uh, and we expect it to be done uh, once we request it. And that and some of the repairs we've done in the past, we literally had to pull teeth. You noticed it on the channel already. Uh, some of the that was from the previous owners. We really had a butt heads. Uh, I mean, literally butt heads. And that. So that's it. Uh, take it this video the way it is. I hope if you guys, if some people don't like this, I hope it gets a lot of views. But mainly it's this. Uh, karma is always around the corner for them. And that. Okay, we're out of here. Please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe button, notification bell. We will always be documented downtown. And it's part of our daily lives. It's part of our daily adventures and all that stuff. We will see these changes. It looks like the same old, same old. Woo! It's slower now, ladies and gentlemen. It's slower now. Uh, for right now. A little soul storm going over right head <laughs> right now. All right, we're out of here. We'll keep it up. We'll monitor these changes as we continue our adventures downtown and throughout town as part of our daily lives. All right, we'll see you guys later.